Hello, friends. Welcome to Mysterious Lost. Today we're going to talk about 10 of the strangest things that have gone missing in our national parks. Number 1. Melvin Nadell Melvin Nadell was 61 years old when he went missing. On September 6, 2009, he was last seen bow hunting in the UP mountain area with two friends. At 4.30 p.m., he went to the Santa Fe National Forest near Pecos, New Mexico, with a 44 caliber revolver and a Martin bow with black and white zebra-striped arrows. Melvin left. He told his friends at the campsite that he wouldn't go far and would be back by nightfall, but he never came back. No one ever saw or heard from him again. He left his 2001 Jeep Cherokee parked near the campsite with most of his stuff, like his backpack, cell phone, and GPS unit, locked inside. He usually carried a GPS with him when he went hunting so he wouldn't get lost. On September 9, 2009, a snowstorm hit the Pecos area, stopping and then restarting the search. The day after, the Santa Fe Police Department said that there were no helicopters with heat sensors available at the time of the search. During the early stages of the search, search dogs found Mel's footprints. Two of them led 5,200 yards away down a trail. During the next search, which took place on September 13, 2009, and included members of his family, the sniffer dogs could not find any trace of a scent. Police dogs found the scent near the Pecos River, but like the first search, it was gone quickly. Number 2. Garen Kirk When he went missing, Garen Kirk was 31 years old. On December 3, 2014, he left home to go hiking in the mountain Ash El Forest. He planned to come back on December 6, but this time he didn't tell his family anything about what happened. Darren's sister reported him missing. But the search didn't start until December 8th because search and rescue crews couldn't be sent out until his car was found so they could know where to start. His car was found by a family member in the parking lot of the Frog Lake campground off US-26. The search then focused on that area and the heavily wooded areas nearby. Police were able to ping his cell phone and found it east of Frog Lake. Heading southwest, that path would have taken him from Clackamas County into Wasco County, so the search was turned over to the Wasco County Sheriff's Office. Searches included Pacific Northwest, Search and Rescue, Mountain Way of Emergency Communications, and Clackamas. Search and Rescue, done by the County Sheriff, Multnomah County. Search and Rescue, County Sheriff's Office. Click Attack, Find and Save in Lake County, the Walla County, Washington. Sheriff's Search and Rescue Team, Clatsop County Sheriff's Office. The Salvation Army's Trauma, Intervention, and Businesses and Government Camp, Zigzag, Welch's, and Sandy, as well as Bud's Towing of Oregon City and the Milwaukee Presbyterian Church. Even though people have looked for Garon, no sign of him has been found. It was odd that a cell phone was southwest of Frog Lake and headed toward Clear Lake, unless the medium is supported. The search efforts seemed to be focused on the area northeast of the Twin Lakes. Kirk's siblings and his parents, Brian and Annette, keep his memory alive through a Facebook page called In Loving Memory of Garen Kirk. Number 3. Connie Johnson Connie Johnson, who is 76 years old, was last seen with her border collie Ace on Fog Mountain near Big Rock, Idaho. As of October 5th of 2018, the area around Fog Mountain is very far away and can only be reached by horseback or on foot. Connie was a coke for the hunting camp, and she got to the camp before the other hunters did. The last time Connie talked to anyone, it was through a radio with a group of hunters who were on their way to a remote campsite. When the hunters finally got to the camp, they couldn't understand what she was saying. The next day, they couldn't find her. Connie was a well-trained outdoor person who had worked as a U.S. Forest Service ranger and often took groups of young people on tours of the back country. The Idaho County Sheriff's Office was told, and a search was set up. The Forest Service, 
the U.S. Air Service, and a backcountry rescue helicopter also helped with the search. On October 16, 2018, the search was stopped. Three weeks later, Connie's dog Ace showed up at the Moose Creek Ranger Station, which is about 15 miles from the camp. However, Connie is still missing as of December 2019, and there have been no new developments. Terence Woods, who was mentioned before this case, went missing on the same day as Connie and just a few miles away. This is a strange coincidence. Number 4. Barbara Thomas Barbara Thomas, who is 69 years old, was last seen hiking in the Mojave Desert in California on July 12, 2019. She and her husband Robert were hiking in the Hidden Hill area of the Mojave Desert, which is north of Interstate 40 and east of Highway 138. Road Roberts said of Cal Baker that they were walking back to their camper when he stopped to take a picture of a rock formation. Barbara walked ahead of him. Robert said that he saw Barbara around the corner of the trail, but when he went around the same corner a few minutes later, he couldn't find her. He got scared right away and started waving his arms around and calling Barbara's name. He looked around and saw that she couldn't be found anywhere. Robert then called 911, which started a large air and ground search for harbor search and rescue members from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department were sent into the field with canine units. Members were also trained in cave searches, rope climbing, desert terrain, and desert terrain. After 14 days, people on the ground were called in to help look. As of December 2019, they has finally been called off. Barbara Thomas is still not found. Number 5. Daniel Reza Daniel Razor, who was 35 years old, hasn't been seen since August 25, 2019, when he was hiking in Nevada's Spring Mountains National Recreation Area. We don't know much about Daniel's disappearance, but here's what we do know. Daniel was seen at different trails during the week, but he hadn't gone back to his car. When Daniel didn't go back to his car, search and rescue volunteers started looking for him. Search and rescue, the Las Vegas Police, the 34th Squadron of the Air Force, which is based at Nellis Air Force Base, several hikers, and four before drivers all helped look for Daniel. Later, we found out that he had gone up to the visitor center and bought a lot of food, a coat, gloves, and a few other things. This gave us hope that we had bought some time since we were hazed at Red Rock Search and Rescue. Daniel bought a blue lightweight nylon backpack, an LED lantern with a blue shade top and a blue and black base, a black or dark gray Landaway brand jacket with spring mountain and black embroidery, a khaki boonie style hat with spring mountains and a border around it, a rustic wooden hiking stick and several bottles of bottled water. Food and gloves were also bought by the First Strait and Kirkland brands. Note that none of these things were found when Daniel was being looked for. On October 20th, volunteers for search and rescue were put on standby. If new information about Daniel's whereabouts came to light, volunteers would be sent out again. Number 6. Nicholas Hyattpas Nicholas Hyattpas, who is 22 years old, was last seen Nick's parents told the Appleton police on April 1, 2019, that he was missing. This was when he went missing. On April 18, 2019, 18 days after he went missing, he was with his wife, a German shepherd named Samantha. A black 2012 Ford Fusion was found on a forest road in the 1.5 million acre Chihuahua Gan Nicolate National Forest near Highway 64 and Shadow Lake Road West. It looked like the mountain in Wisconsin's Ocampo County had been there for a long time. It was covered with snow. From the snow that fell on April 11th, the Appleton police said in a Facebook post that they found a tarp and camping gear near Nick's car as well as a collar for one of his dogs, a half mile away. Three deputies searched the immediate area until it got dark. 
On April 19th and 20th, deputies came back with search dogs and looked in a wider area. Here's how Nick's parents described him. Hometown of absolute loss. White male. Age of concern. 22, I'm 6 feet tall. Weigh 200 pounds and have brown eyes. Short brown hair. Small ribbon-like tattoo on the inside of the left wrist. Probably wearing a green letter. Get your couch on black hooded sweatshirt. American Eagle, blue jeans and mustard-colored steel-toed work boots. Nick was with his German shepherd, Samantha, who was white, 65-pound spade with brown eyes not broken. Number 7. John Clinton Walker John Walker was 48 years old when he went missing on November 11, 2014. Police want the public's help to find him. Find Mr. John C. Walker who was last seen in Bellingham, Washington, early on Thursday, November 13th. John likes to go hiking. His landlord's roommate saw him leave his house on November 11th, 2014, at 6 a.m. This is John's car. There was a white 1997 Chevrolet Lumina near his house on Britain Road. This is where we should leave his car so we can walk to the Sunset Drive bus stop. He would often get out of his cars. This must stop near his house for him to be able to take public transportation to hiking spots. It is thought that he went hiking that day in a remote wooded area because he liked hiking and because surveillance video shows him getting off a public bus on a road that leads to remote wooded areas in the foothills of Mount Baker and into the snow while climbing in the National Forest. When he went missing, John was wearing a black beanie and an orange vest. He might have also been carrying a forest green backpack. He has blue eyes and blonde hair that is long on the sides, but going bald on top. There is no information about John's search and rescue available right now. Number 8. Drake Kramer Drake Kramer, who is 21 years old, was last seen on February 1, 2015, before Drake went missing, he sent his family a strange text message from the area around Bright Angel Lodge on the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park. That said, he had to give his body to Mother Earth. Drake's parents think that the text message was probably just about wanting to get outside. He didn't usually go into the wilderness by himself, but he had been to the area around the Grand Canyon two or three times before but he knew his way around the park very well. Rangers with search and rescue teams looked from Hermit's Rest on the west side to Grandview on the east side of the south rim. The park service said that teams of searchers have been walking miles along the canyon rim and searching heavily wooded areas for about six days. Teams that used dogs did several over the rim. Technical searches were done, and ground searchers were helped by multiple reconnaissance flights from the air. But the search was in vain. Even though people have been looking for Drake for almost five years, he is still missing. Number 9. Nathan Ashby Nate Ashby, age 22, was last seen in Warrenton, Missouri on July 31, 2019. Nate and his white 1994 Chevy Silverado extended cab are both missing. Neither Nate nor his pickup truck have been seen since the morning he went away. I wanted to include Nate's case in this episode, even though he didn't go missing near a national park or forest. It's rare for both a person and their car to go missing at the same time. Especially since this is in an area where other people have gone missing, and it's surrounded by woods. It made sense to add it after saying that Nate has been looked for many times, but no clues have been found and he's still missing. Number 10. Kyle Britton Kyle Britton, who is 27 years old, was last seen on August 20, 2019, when he was going into Waiapil Valley State Park for Ike. Since then, firefighters from Hawaii County have been looking for him. Before Kyle went missing, he told his father that he was going hiking in Waipio Valley for the day. The last time Cal's phone went off was around noon, and it was in the area where he was going to hike. The 30th of August, 
2019. His car was parked at the trailhead, but no one could find his keys. His father, lawyer Steve Britton, said that his son has a lot of experience. He has been a hiker since he was three years old, so this is not his first adventure. The day the Count went missing, it rained, so his family thought he might have slipped and hurt himself in the valley. They also said that there wasn't much cell service in the area, which could be why his phone stopped working. Search teams have been looking for Kyle on land and in the air, and they have grown in size, having added rescuers, helicopters, and dogs. As of December 2018, Kyle's father is offering a reward for any information that can help solve the case. Kyle is still being looked for, but the search is limited and there have been no leads. So those are the 10 national parks that are the most unusual. As we go on with this series, I'll let you know if there are any new developments in these cases. If you like this video, please click the like button, and I'll see you.